And you'll see on this film, you'll see us not get that a few times. And it screws us. <coughs> now, the key, the key is the footwork. The key is the footwork. Now you're going to see at times, particularly my uh, young offensive right guard, he would get too carried away and he'd smoke this guy. I mean, he would, but he'd come out here too much. Now he polarized the guy. So I was happy about that. But at the same time, even when he did that, I would be on his case saying, hey, you're, you're coming over there too much. You're, you're knocking off the tackle. But what you'll see, and I'm sure, I'm sure uh, all of us, believe me, and we were talking again last night about it, if that tackle comes down like that, you don't have a double team. You don't have a double team. Now, what you're going to have, I don't care, you can have done really a uh, real good job with your guard, and, and he and your guard's doing a good job coming off the way you want him to come off. But the gosh darn tackle is coming down, and his shoulders are like this. And you don't want that. Because what he's going to do, he's negating everything that the guard did. Every positive thing that the guard did, the tackle now takes away. And he just knocks the living hell out of the guard. And now the defensive tackle, hey, he gets off of it. And, uh, the defense wins. So you've got to work. And it's, again, it's, it's something that, hey, it doesn't happen overnight. But once they get the feel, and they get the feel of that leverage and being low and being shoulder to shoulder and coming off, hey, and hey, this is, this is, Back to uh, the 1930s, 40s, 50s technique. I mean, this is not this is not anything new. But I'll tell you this, you know, it's the same old deal. It's just like hey, all of a sudden we got a lot of uh, defensive gurus that are running the under and the over. I made the comment, hell, that 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 was that was around. 25 years ago, too, guys. The double team's been around a long time, too. It's just the fact that we forgot about it. We forgot about it. Or right, let's say most of us did. We're going to take a little break. And you can okay, we'll take a break. Uh, how long? 10? We'll be back here at, uh, what time is it? We'll be back here at 2.30. 2.30, back here. Heavy ball to whistle in your seat. They said, you got to stay this poor boy, take a test. Hey, you're going to be shit, man. Are you kidding me? And you, we all can't cheat that guy. There's no way. Okay? But anyway, if you need something, please, be sure you get these guys. This is Paul Alexander. Jimmy's over there. Paul Pedro's probably at the bar. But you can find more at Scully's. All right? And, and Jimmy and so on. So here. Yep. Okay. See what I'm talking about? That's a double team. Huh? 
And they didn't even really, in truth, try to get this linebacker. Right? The guy just happened to show up and got swallowed up in all the crap. This is uh, left guards going around. Damn good runner here. Good job here by the backside center. I mean, the center on the backside. The guy reading it here. And he adjusts and he comes back on him. Gets enough of him that uh, the running back is able to take it up there. Okay, now, footwork. This is my young kid here. Uh, I think this kid's got a, a chance of being a really special if he can stay healthy. But again, now, you see this right here? So I wasn't bullshitting yet. Gap step, you see it? And you see how, what I'm talking about here, guys? Shoulder to shoulder, they're not fighting each other. You see that? Now you got a, a this guy's a big, big, strong, strong individual right here. But it's all she wrote. Now you can see the tight end here on the defensive end. All we're asking, hey, just get us a stalemate. Just get his face right here. this guy's technique here but again the guard now came off because the defensive tackle worked all the way out right now you see it and he comes off in the linebacker here Nevaeh Kurt Now, see here, we're into a different package. We're running the power play, but it's a different package. We have a backside, backside in, and the, he's going to take care of the backside here, that will linebacker here. Lead back. Now we got a lead back coming here. So they got an eight man front up. Now, like Joe just asked the question here in the, in the, uh, Great. I'm telling that left guard, hey, I want, don't, just, don't hesitate. Get up and get in there. And the same thing with true, you know, Joe with that H-back. You know what I mean? Hey, you see that daylight, get up there. Don't waste any time. Don't screw up that running back. Any kind of indecision. Does. Again, we're in a two tight end package. It's our second tight end coming over. He's got this, the end guy here now. Now we've got this and we got the other tight end now coming on down. I think, Paul, I think they were offsides. <laughs> they were offsides, Again. Now this is another guard. My other guard was, uh, as a matter of fact, guys, this is Burnus right here. But again, you see the footwork we were talking about, that first step being with that onside foot. Now all you got to do is just come on off. I like what he did right here. You know, and now, hey, the guy's got to show. So the guy shows, hey, he takes himself right out of the frickin' play. Good job by the tackle. Really, the tight end doesn't do diddly squat for us here. You had to keep on coming. You should have been right over here. Okay, here's a, here it is against the under look now. Different package now. Two back. No, we're now two backs. There's a full back. Okay, now let's take a look at this. You're going to see uh, what I'm talking about. Okay, here that tackle's got to come down. Ron, this is uh, Joe here, Pat, the young kid with that tackle. We're 
secure that three technique here. Here is uh, the guard taking that gap step right here, exploding on that nose. Okay, gap step, and you see the second step by the right tackle here. Simple. See this fellow? <coughs> now he really didn't need to come off here. And you know, the next day in talking to him, I'd be saying, hey Ed, Ed, stay on that. You don't need, if the guy won't do this, he's going to go over the top, just stay right in here. Stay right in here. another kid. He's a little bit too much to the outside. But again, he's stepping pretty good. <laughs> Why we're in a two-point, I have no idea. Again, a lot of the times what this old guard gets, as these guys come around, he gets a trap. A lot of times he gets a trap on this. Backside guard. Hey, he's just pulling, getting through there, and getting whatever he can. Okay, we're in the two tight end package now. Okay, now here's here's uh, the young guard again. But see, he came out there too damn much. And the defensive tackle grabs him, hog ties him, and, and really he needs to have his eyes ready here to pick this guy off. This is a good deal here. Again, a pretty good double team. Now the guard is at work. You can see this. They got a, the guy sliding off the back side here. This end. That guard picks him off right there. They got the game of the season, the regular season. This is uh, Buddy Ryan's defense. This is uh, Joyner and Eric Hill and, and Swan and all these guys who are supposed to be, a, you know, going to be a top defense. I think in the NFL, unlike uh, college ball, I think, you know, if you go for 120 yards or something like that rushing, you're, you're feeling pretty gosh darn good about yourself. We got two, uh, 259 yards on their ass in this game. Now this is a good job, but even with this, I'm going to be on, this is Lachey here, I'm going to be on Jimmy. I said, Jimmy, look at your shoulders. They're not like I want it. See what I'm talking about, guys? 
Now they do a damn good job, and I compliment them for the job, but I also say, hey, look, this is going to cause us problems now. If you're coming down like that now, you're going to knock that guard off. tight end package. Okay, now they're in the uh, bare 46 look here. Now, because of the, uh, we knew this. See, it, it all depends on who in the hell they, on how they're playing that bare 46. But you can see in the back side here that we're pulling that old guard and we're blocking here and we're wanting to get a double team on this three technique guy right here. Okay, we're letting this guy be free right here at the back side end. Well, in this particular bare 46, Buddy's bare 46. That backside defensive end is has contained. He's got contained, so we we don't have to worry about his ass, you know, screaming down the backside. If he was a screamer, you know, really coming down, then we couldn't block him like this. But we wound up with penetration there. Still wound up a damn big play, but but we got uh, we had penetration. But you can see the problem. You have the tight end. And it just gap stepped. You wouldn't have had that problem. And the old guard would have been clean getting around.
Got to get lower, get better, better drive here. Okay, now, 